couple of dogs up there, it seems. That's uh, not. Pew. Oh god! Oh! <laughs> that guy just got murdered. Oh my god. That looked awesome. I should probably save. I think there's just been an auto save. Yeah, it has, but I don't trust auto saves. I don't know why. Uh, I don't really trust quick saves either. Although I do wish this game had a quick save function that worked. Bandages? Do I need a? S nah, I don't want a silence pistol. Last time I had a silence pistol, it just went wrong. Everything. Oh my god. There's a lot of them. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh, go away! Okay, the others got scared it seemed. Ah, don't do that! Don't rush a man with a gun. I'm actually going to um... Change to automatic. I think that's better if, like, a flock of dogs or seagulls come after me. What is this place? Let's look at my map. Shit, shit. Um. I'm there. Oh, this is the town I'm going to. So this. So I'm guessing this area isn't as so uh, that hostile. Is that a person? That's a dog, and the the thing I thought was a person, I think, is a piece of wood, tree stump. What the hell is that? That's a big dog. Oh my god! Let's actually get out my binoculars. I don't think that was a dog, actually. Well, that's one of those cat things. Okay, they're just chilling, chilling out, relaxing. So I should not bother them. That was the guy they killed. Oh shit! Never mind. I like that they actually react like animals, but they're not like in other games just rushing you for the sake of rushing you. They get do get scared off and a, a dog would act like that, checking out his opponent, like just rushing up and then turning around. That's actually normal behavior. Ooh, bandages. Okay, I'm going across here. I think I'm safe in here. Oh my god, look at this place. Ha! Ah, you can't pet. Well, you can. Oh shit! You're dead. Uh, guys? Town? Would you please help me? Oh shit! Oh, shh. Okay. See, this is a, a point. Uh, something like this makes me wish that the game had experience. Because I would have gotten a lot of experience there. Easy experience. Oh my god, this town really has a problem with dogs. Uh, I'm just going down here, guys. Don't mind me. Nice little. Oh, a nice little. Ah, uh... oh, this is cool. I thought I saw a dog. Maybe I didn't. Huh. Nothing. Most of these stashes are very empty. Well, I'm guessing I'm not the only, like, stalker around, so... That would make sense. Hi. Do I need to talk to you to get in? Go on, keep moving. What are you staring at? Can you tell me something interesting? Lately, the mercs have become much more active. 
We also call them marauders. There's another kind of swine here, don't know if you heard, kind of like bandits, except experts in the ways of war. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Strange things, they used to pre prefer to attack stalkers, but as late has become more interested in scientists. Oh, it's pouring down outside. But you look like in, you look out in any case. I would, uh, I wouldn't want to put it past to, sh to them to shoot your head off either. Oh, can you buy some stuff from me? Just one of these. Yeah, that's trade. I lose money on this, but okay. Okay, so you can't do that. Oh, that's annoying. I think that's the 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 one that's worth the least. Oh. So, well, oh, I can buy this bandage from you, and you can. Oh, that's annoying. I should just be able to say okay and just lose money on it, like you do in. Uh, Oh, I need to eat in Fallout. Uh, bread with sausage. There you go. Hi. Sergeant Kitsenko. Okay, keep on. Go on, keep moving. What are you staring at? There was a massacre by the outpost. What happened? That's the last wave of mutants that came before the blowout. It's quiet for three. Of, it's been. It's quiet for three or four days, and then another wave. It's not for us. That if not for us, that be no bar. That be no duty. Uh, we're the last barrier on the way to the crazy mutants, and a lot of our people meet their end here. Okay. I need to know something. What do you need to know? It's my first time here. Could you tell me a little bit about this place? Before the accident in '86. There was an, this was an industrial area. As you can see, there ain't much left of it, left of it now. Uh, in the basement by the hangar, you'll find the 100 Rads bar. That's where I need to go. The place is run by the local trader who doubles as a barman. If you want to trade, talk, get a mission or something of the latest news, that's the place to go. There's also the arena where you can fight and make some cash. Ooh, we need to try that. The uh, duty's base is not far from the arena. If you want to join duty and go straight over there, they'll tell you who to speak to. Uh, oh, by the way, all of the area is protected by duty, so behave and keep your weapons holstered. If you start shooting, the patrol will calm you down pretty quick. <laughs> calm you down. You said there's a bomb over there. Can you tell me where exactly it is? In the basement behind the hangar. Okay, I actually knew that. Uh, these are just information of where things are. Even if I forget, this place isn't that big. Thanks for the information. I need a job. Uh, not right now, actually. But now we know this guy has jobs, I guess. But do you have more money? You do have more money. You can buy one of these. Uh, maybe two. Nah. You can. Maybe, I don't know. What if I take this sausage? No. Okay. You can buy one. There you go. Have fun with that. See ya! Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go to the bar. Oh, where's the bar? <laughs> oh, he did actually mark it on my... That, I also, the, the bar would... Would be uh, showed on my map, I guess. Oh, here's the cemetery. These are the people who died. K. That's a. Oh wait, I saw something. Search the stash. People are speaking. Ukrainian, I think, or Russian. Can I go in here? I want to go into that room. Oh, it's English. I just couldn't hear it. A huge responsibility, that's what I heard. Uh, hi! Get out of here, stalker! Sorry. 
<laughs> Get out of here, stalker. I wanna... Isn't this the bar? Here, okay, sorry. How do I get to the bar? Uh, arena. I think that says arena, right? That looks like arena. So I'm not going that way. But I thought that was where I was... There's no other way to go. Oh wait, I can go this way? Maybe? Can I open this door? No? Uh... Uh, guys? How do I get to the bar again? <laughs> Let's uh, zoom in. Oh, in, not out. No, zoom in! Uh, this zooming system is really weird because sometimes you have to zoom in. Yeah, it doesn't really work. I'm trying to zoom in. No, in! Oh god, this is... Zoom in. No, zoom in. Okay. No, zoom in. I don't know how this zoom thing works. The mouse wheel just does random things. Okay, here we go. Ugh. That worked. So I'm here. Right now. This is where I went. This is the thing where I was told to get out. So I need to get into this area. But there was a fence. No fence. <laughs> ah, never mind. Yeah, there's fence all around. I need to get into this building to get through, I think. Uh, they can't do that. Get out of here, stalker. <laughs> Sorry. I don't get it. I need to get in here. How do I get in there? Um, how do I get to the bar? I mean, it's it's nice and all that you've marked it on my map, but I mean I, there's a guy in there. T t there's a guy in th in there telling me to to like not go in there, and that's the only place I can go. I think the last thing I'm gonna do in this video is go talk to the barkeep. This might take a while <laughs> though, because I mean. Okay, I'm saving right here, and if he shoots me, then he shoots me. Get out of here, stalker. Okay, okay. Wait, this is not an exit. Oh, so I was supposed to get out of here? Uh, that's actually... Oh, what from, why am I moving so slowly? What's happening? Why did I... I didn't run. Why did it all of a sudden lose? But that's a little confusing, that you walk into a room and, been t and then are told that you need to get out of there. Not the best way of saying, hey, you can pass through. That's a bar. Hey! Who are you? You are a Antrim Phantom. Let's talk to you. His duties, guys, rule. Our de dear beloved police force, or something like that. Keep that in mind to avoid trouble. Can you tell me something interesting? Well, I'm not really up to date with the latest news. Okay, that's okay. Is the bar? Is this the entrance to the bar? I need to find the bar. Where am I on the... I think I'm close. I think the bar is... Not that way. The bar. Oh, this must be the bar. I said come in. Don't stand there. I said come in. Don't stand there. I said come in. Don't stand there. <laughs> that 
I need to talk to you. I can't, okay. Is this the bar? I want to ask that guy if this is the bar. This is definitely the bar. Hi! Why do they bother? You can't go there. Uh, okay, sorry, I just... Uh. Uh, bulletin board. Damn. Hi. Who are you? I've got a big problem, man. I I lost my family rifle in the wild territory. I want to shoot some bloodsuckers. Ugh. Why did I bother? Nice, but I barely got away. Damn. Listen. Uh, actually, actually, I'm How not gonna talk I to you now that? because I wanna just. I'm not gonna talk to any of these. I'm gonna talk to them later. But for now, let's talk to the barkeep. Hey, Faki. Hey, Martwa. Have you brought the documents from the Institute? Uh, yes. Here are the documents for the Institute. Great work, Martwa. We have the documents at last. I need to have a look at them now. And maybe I'll work out how to get north. While I do that, if you have problems with money, you can fight at the arena. The owner of the arena is Arnie. I've uploaded his coordinates. Okay. Okay, the documents you brought from the Institute make some things a little clearer, but we're still missing the info we need to get a full picture. A lab designated X-18 is mentioned, and its description matches the abandoned underground vaults in the Dark Valley. Looks like you'll have to go there and get the info we need. The lab is closed, and you need two electronic keys to get inside. I'll give you one. But you'll need to get the other one from Boar in the Dark Valley. From Boar? Do you mean from a Boar or a guy called Boar? I mean, the letter, the, the name is capitalized, so... Uh, I don't know. But maybe he was like... Dropped his key and a Boar... Hey, there's a... What the hell is that? That's Stalker? <laughs> All you we'll have to do is acquire the second key to Lab X-18, get inside, and retrieve the second batch of documents. Don't forget to get yourself a protective suit, or you won't have a chance in hell of getting to the lab. So, do it. Yeah, 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 I'll try. Uh, let's trade. I'll, I'll ask him about this as well, but let's trade first. Oh, he has unlimited money. Oh, I like that. Actually, that's before we trade. Let's leave. The, the thing I don't like is that... Um, yeah, I can't tell. Uh, the things I have equipped are still down here. So, okay, I only have one of these. I have two of these, which means I can only sell one. A wrenched. A stone flower. So I can sell three or four of the stone flowers and all of the jellyfish. One of the wrenched. Uh, all three of the grab. What does that do? Plus five radiation? Yeah, that, that's okay. Yeah, stone. Yeah, I can sell that those as well. And that urchin. My information might okay. be of use to you, Trade. Uh, so yeah, I could sell all of the jellyfish. Oh, this is so cool. I just want to move all of them over. What if I double click? Oh, I can double click. So, four of these. Two of these. Maybe I could sell all of these. So that one, I could sell both of these. Oh, whoa! Jesus Christ, I'm getting a lot of money. So one of those. Uh, I'm gonna sell you some uh, bullets as well. Yeah. Let's see what I want from you. Is that a better suit than the one I have on? It is exactly the same. What's this? Eh. Well, I could use some grenades, actually, so I'm buying three grenades, all three of them. Uh, no. My gun is still better. I prefer accuracy. Accuracy is what I, I go for. 
don't really have much I need, to be honest. Oh god, I'm getting a lot of money. Holy shit, I hope, I really hope that I'm needing, I need this money for some things, because so far I haven't really bought shit. I guess I could buy some more uh, bullets actually. Buy 90 bullets. And what is it? Oh, and I could probably use some more of them for that one, which is this. Yeah. I think that's all. So let's uh, see. I want to know something. I want to know about Strella. Uh, what do you want to know about? What do you want to know about? What do you know about Strella? An experienced stalker, as far as I know. He used to work through the northern exits from the zone. He was one, partly, sorry, uh, ever seen here. But there are rumors that he took his group right into the center of the zone. Okay. What do you know about this sto stalker called Ghost? He's one of Strella's men. They say he can sneak in anywhere without being noticed. I heard that he took out the leader of some crazy group. What was the name? Ah, Final Day. That's the one. They they were pretty wild, those boys. Oh, by the way, I heard that Ghost is doing some job for the scientists. So if you're looking for him, try Lake Yanta at the mobile lab. Okay. What do you know about a stalker called Fang? I don't know. Who the fuck is Fang? There was a man that went by that name, spoke with a lisp. He was a bit weird, that's for sure. Talked to himself and stuff, but he seemed like an okay guy. I haven't seen him at the bar for ages. What is the wish grander? Ah, that's an interesting question. I wish you knew the answer. I can tell you the legend about the grander if you want, but you make up your own mind on how much truth there is in it. Wanna hear it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will do. The legend is about the monolith, which was, which may be what caused the zone to appear. When the zone exploded in 2006, they evacuated people living near, near it, and the zone itself was uh, cordoned, cordoned, I don't know, off by the army. Hard. Um, everyone was pa was panicking. Nobody knew what was going on. The zone was expanding and the field labs couldn't do anything. Loads of people died there. Everyone was afraid of the radiation which could affect half of Europe. Whoa. After a few years had passed some reckless guy like reckless guys like you appeared. They called themselves stalkers. They started to sneak past the army cordons believing that they are, there are things in the zone that would make them rich. Bit by bit they brought out the uh, out weird things, artifacts, and which eventually turned out uh, a race for them. Scientists went after them like crazy. They paid fantastic money for just one ticket back then, not like now. Go on. After a while the first tales and legends about what's deep inside the zone by the turbo down nuclear power plant started to circulate. It was also then that one of the veterans told us the story of monolith that allegedly grants your wishes. You should have seen the hysteria. Experienced level-headed men started trying to break through to the center. Everyone wanted something from the monolith. We got something, we got some morbid details about the first dog who made it through to the moon. Go on, tell me more. When the zone had just appeared, many people were trapped inside and, and cut off from the outside world. Most of them died pretty quickly, but there were a few lucky survivors who tried to do something about it. One of these survivors found himself by the station and noticed some strange light inside. Uh, with no way back, he decided to try to get closer. Look, to get closer, he saw the broken roof of the sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. Uh, 
and the light coming out through it, he climbed up the wall and looked inside. Among the debris of metal and molten concrete, there lay a massive black rock. Wait, is this 2001 A Space Odyssey? It was the monolith. The stalker managed to shake off the spell and realized that he had climbed very close to the sarcophagus, which had high, which are highly radioactive. He was scared to death, but th through the fear, he could sense the monolith calling to him. The monolith called to him, and he came to see strange, unbelievable things about the monolith inside his head. Cool. <laughs> really? Cool? Oh god. I don't know what's true in this story and what's not, but the point is that the guy made a wish which came true. While the zone grew fi by 5 kilometers, it seems the zone gobbles up more land for every wish that it grants. But that ain't gonna stop Hutchers like you. They keep trying to break through with their precious little wishes in their hearts. Okay. Uh, jobs. Uh, yeah, not now. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Oh, this guy seems. Uh, My information might well be useful. Oh shit! A lot of people talking. But yeah, we're gonna uh, take some. I think next time we're gonna take some uh, side quests for some of these people here. Hopefully, they won't be far away because I really don't like that some of the side quests are far away. So you think? So, but and then. Why did I bother? Really? That, that that's stupid. I sold the ones I had equipped. That doesn't make sense. I couldn't have sold the ones I didn't have equipped. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of dumb, I, I think, them? that the side quests that you think, oh, I'll just take these along the way. But nope, they are timed. So that's kind of annoying. Let's go outside. I said come in. Don't stand there. Shut up, I'm leaving. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I said come in. Ah, it's getting night time. Anyway, I'll see you next time for more Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Bye.